Hey guys, today's video is going to be a makeup haul. I recently did a video saying that I was going on a makeup low buy, and these are the items that I bought before that. One thing is PR, I will show you that as well. I thought this would be fun to share. If you didn't see the low buy intro, you can check that out. If you're interested in the makeup that I'm wearing, I did film this makeup look. It was a members exclusive tutorial. If you didn't know, I do have a channel membership option. If you're interested in exclusive video content from me, the members do get to pick those videos. There's more information on that in the description box. And yeah, let's get into this haul. All right, first stop is a drugstore purchase. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in the shade or the name, it's called Petalette. And I bought this because recently I bought the other five pan that is um, the Walking on Eggshells and I love it so much, I wanted to buy this too. These are only like $3.29 or something like that. The quality is fantastic. Um, I haven't used this one, but I have the other one. And then I also have a 10 pan from them, which those are only $5. And I was like, you know what? For this price, I want to get another one. They are so good. I am very excited to use this one. Very, very pretty shades. Here are three of them there. Definitely pink tones in this palette. And like I said, I have the walking on eggshells and I love it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I bought that at Walgreens and while I was there, I ended up also buying this. I have really wanted to try the Milani lip glosses. Now I will tell you what I really, really want from Milani is the lip oils, but I haven't seen them in stores. They are online. Maybe I'll order one eventually. I'm on a low buy now, so we'll see if that you know ends up being something I get. But I've wanted to try these glosses what is this called? Okay, Keep It Full Gloss. And I have a shade 01 Champagne. This does have like a slight cooling effect to it, um, but it wasn't bad. I'm like really sensitive. I can't handle those like burning lip glosses, but very nice shade here. I, I liked it. I've worn this a couple times. You know, nice shade, nice shine. Is it the best lip gloss I've ever tried? No but it is really good. But yeah, I really, really want, I want to try one of those Milani lip oils. Have you guys tried those? Let me know. I'm very curious. Um, especially they have this like orangey brown shade that I really, really want, which I'm like obsessed with brown tone lip colors. They are my absolute favorite. And speaking of which, I made an order from Odin's Eye and I bought this. And then I also bought a palette, which I'm going to show you. Um, this is the Odin's Eye and Angelica. This is the gloss in the shade Quicksand. I've worn this a couple times. I love it. It's such a smooth, glossy formula. And of course, like I said, I love brown tone lip colors. There it is right there. Perfect. I love it. I am so impressed with this formula. So go Angie. This is an awesome collab really, really like this. And then I did buy one of the palettes. I haven't used the palette yet, um, but it's here. I bought the Little Ghost palette. Look at this packaging. Like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. <sighs> Blown away by that. And here's the color story. It's pretty colorful. It's very pretty though. I have several other Odin's Eye palettes and I know I like the formula. I haven't even touched this, so let's just, let's do some swatches. Ooh, this purple shade, that looks pretty. Ooh, the pink, ooh, that one. Okay, I'm swatching all shimmers, but ooh, they look so nice. Look at those shimmers, very, very pretty. These aren't the best swatches, but it's fine. Um. I should do a look with this palette. I really, really want to. Um, it's stunning, beautiful for fall, colorful, definitely giving the Halloween vibes. Very excited to use that. Okay, um, the one palette, I did get this in PR from Alter Ego. This is their Mirage palette. And I did film a YouTube short with this. I've used this palette several times and I really, really like it. Um, here it is. It is definitely similar to the Huda Beauty palette. I think this formula is very good. I have several other Alter Ego palettes. This shade here, 
Ooh, look at that. That one is really, really pretty. I mean, these are, these are intense for sure. The mats, I really like the mats in this. Like, look at that. Very, very nice formula. I haven't tried like the two creams at the end and those they're not covered. So it's like the eyeshadow is kind of already starting to get in there. Um, this gold, absolutely beautiful. So anyway, um, this palette I've used several times and I did film a YouTube short on it. So you can check that out. I really want to film a YouTube short with the Odin's Eye palette. Maybe with this Wet n Wild too. Let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see? Um, but yeah, I'm excited, but I'm on a low buy now. So, you know, I need to be careful with what I purchase. All right. And last, but certainly not least, I bought this. I have wanted the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. Or is it Yucca or Yucca? I call it Yucca because I think of it like as the food, like fried Yucca, which is amazing. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyway, wow. The packaging gorgeous. And so many people say such wonderful things about this palette. And I love the Natasha Denona formula. So I thought, you know what, before my low buy starts, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. I've used it once and it seemed to be the usual Natasha Denona formula. Um, let's do some swatches because, you know, I can't help myself the shades in here are very interesting. A lot of like green tones. Wow, look at that. This shade looks really cool. I haven't tried that one yet. Let's see. This teal, that looks nice. Okay. So definitely, you know, this palette has been out for a while. This is nothing new, but it's new to me and I'm excited about it. And this is like a perfect fall palette. Oh. And I want to do a part two to my uh, fall eyeshadow palettes video. I said that before and look at that. I got eyeshadow on the outside, which is fine. It kind of like blends into the colors. It's fine. Let's, let's wipe that off. All right. So I had to do it. So I have another Natasha Denona palette in my collection. It's amazing. I'm excited. Um, if you want to see a YouTube short with this or the little ghost palette, let me know. Um, like I said, I have a YouTube short on the Mirage palette already. And yeah, this is not that big of a haul. I have to say it's really, it's, it's not over the top. It's not bad. I did order from the Pat McGrath holiday collection, the Bijou brilliance collection. I ordered two things, a five pan palette and one of the face palettes, but mine has not shipped yet. Those purchases are going to count as part of my low buy for October even though I technically ordered them at the end of September, I figured, you know what? I bought these. I need to include those as part of my low buy purchases. So check out the low buy video. Cause I tell you I have specific rules. It's kind of like a one in one out policy. Um, so anyway, you can check that out for more, but I did order the Pat McGrath collection. I'm counting that as an October purchase, but it's not here yet, which is fine because I have plenty of other makeup to use, but yeah, this was my haul. Nothing over the top, nothing too bad, but I'm excited to be on a low buy again. And I'm also excited. I was like, crazy, I'm already excited for Black Friday sales. <laughs> Not until the end of next month, but I need to save some low buy purchases for that. So that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. If you are new, please subscribe. And like I said, you can check out my channel membership option for exclusive videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.